Well, if you're a regular watcher of the show, you know that we've been talking about states and cities that have been allowing illegal immigrants to vote. But our next guest says many non-citizens don't actually know that they're not allowed to vote and are taken advantage of in registration drives, only later being subjected to deportation for voting illegally. His foundation has uncovered records of foreigners voting in several states. Joining us now is the president of the Public Interest Legal Foundation, Jay Christian Adams. Christian, good to see you. I'm really excited to talk to you. You had a great piece about this this week. I've been talking about this for a while. You've got states out there giving people in the country a license. And then what do you need to register to vote? A license, right? I mean, isn't, aren't we basically creating the problem that we're trying to, quote, solve? It's happening at DMV offices, Sean. For example, we've been right. suing Pennsylvania for the last three years to get the records. They admit, they admit that they had at least 10,000 aliens register to vote for over 20 years at PennDOT offices when they registered to get their driver's license, they were automatically being registered to vote. And they admit this. We know it's at least 10,000. We're still in federal court to get the records. But we've got records from all over the country where aliens are getting on the voter rolls. They're getting on it through student drives on college campuses. They're getting on it at welfare offices all through Motor Voter. And they don't even know it all the time. But, Sean, the worst one is the records we get when people fill out the form and it says, are you a U.S. citizen? In many places like Harris County, Texas, they're marking no and still getting registered to vote. So the system's broken and you can't deny it. Only the voter fraud deniers can deny this one. So I had the secretary, the former secretary of state of Nevada on uh, not too long ago and I held up the form, right? And it says that, you know, you can check this box off, but then it makes it very clear that there's no public scrutiny allowed of these registration lists so that they know that they can fill it out and that no one can then review it. Is that the case in most states? Well, it's the case in every state. There's no state at all that has any sort of pre-registration validation of citizenship. In fact, it's against federal law. We've been litigating this in the District Court of D.C. Uh, the League of Women Voters didn't want Georgia, uh, Kansas, and, and Alabama to verify, and unfortunately they won in the Court of Appeals. So. There's no verification. It's the honor system. Uh, people are marking, yes, they're citizens when they're not. And people are marking, no, they're not citizens and still getting registered to vote. All right. So, so I mean, I don't even know. I mean, what, what, is the, what is the fix? Is there one? Yeah, there is, but it's with Congress. You have to change Motor Voter. This was a huge fight in 1993. You remember when Motor Voter passed, top priority of Bill Clinton. And the, the members of the Republican side wanted to have some sort of validation. But the Democrats were steadfast in 1993. And even if you don't answer the question, the Democrats insisted that you be allowed to register regardless. And so we need to fix motor voter. Motor voter is full of problems. It's what allowed at least 10,000 foreigners to get on the rolls in just Pennsylvania. But see, Christian, I look, I. I, I believe this is part of the left's plan. I mean, this is what you're seeing now, what they call voter suppression, right? They allow people to come into the country. Then they tell us we have to give them a license. Then they go register them. Then they tell us we can't look at the list. And I mean, so they've they've allowed this. I, I Frankly, I, I get it. They've played a better game than us. And I don't know how we undo this. Well, part of it is to start asking about the funding streams. Why is the League of Women Voters spending millions of dollars like they did in our litigation in the District Court of D.C. to stop citizenship validation by uh, three states? Who's paying for that? Why is the League of Women Voters on the side of the lawless? Those are questions we need to start to ask and start treating them like they, they should be treated, not this sanctimonious, uh, dignified organization of good government uh, women who run around. Uh, so the point is... So let me have you found, though, have you been able to at any point f figure out, OK, person X is not a citizen of the United States. They are registered to vote and they voted. Have you ever oh. found one person that matches that one? Go Google stealing the vote. Public Interest Legal Foundation will show you the actual registration forms stealing. So, like wait, wait, stealers. hold on. Here's my and I'm, I, but so when the when the media tells me. There's no such thing as voter fraud. How can they say that if you documented it like that? Well, because they ignore. That's part of their Alinsky strategy is they ignore uh, voices that conflict with their orthodoxy. 
And so, like I said, Google stealing the vote, Public Interest Legal Foundation. You can actually see letters from people who were asking to be removed because they're not American citizens and their voting histories. You can Google Garden State Gotcha. We did it for New Jersey. You could you could Google uh, uh, um, a, a report we did on sanctuary cities where foreigners are voting. All of this is the Public Interest Legal Foundation website. It, we show you the actual registration forms and their voting histories. Well, I hope people go there because I'm so tired of hearing the narrative that none of this exists. The Democrats have created this. The media ignores it. Thank you for, for doing this, for doing the hard work, for exposing it, and for being with us today. It's so important, the work that you guys are doing. Thanks, Sean. Take care. You bet.